expression for electrical conductivity. So to derive an expression for electrical conductivity, let us consider a metal. Right? So before the application of the electric field, all the electrons will be moving in a random motion. But on the application of the electric field, a potential difference is maintained between the two ends. A potential difference is maintained between the two ends and all the electrons will be drifted opposite to the direction of the applied electric field. So that is what? Before the application of the electric field, all the electrons will be moving in random motion. So after the application of the electric field, a potential difference will be maintained between the two endpoints. So due to this, what happens? All the electrons will be moving or drifted towards the positive side or, towards, or opposite to the direction of the applied electric field. So to derive an expression, let n be the total number of electrons present inside the specimen and E is the charge of the electron. So therefore, then the current density J is equal to, we have already derived N is N into Vd into minus E. Put this as equation 1, where N is the total number of charges inside the specimen, Vd is the drift velocity and E is the charge of the electron. So this negative sign indicates that it is, the conduction is mainly due to electrons. Conduction is mainly due to electrons. So due to the application of the electric field, the electrons will occur and velo occur and acceleration. So the acceleration, acceleration A is equal to drift velocity, acceleration A is equal to drift velocity divided by relaxation time. Drift velocity divided by relaxation time. So we know what is drift velocity, that is Vd, A is equal to Vd by tau or what is Vd, Vd is equal to A into tau, put this as equation number 2. So on the application of the electric field, if capital E, if capital E is the applied electric field and M is the mass of the electron, then this electron will be experiencing a force due to the application of the electric field. So therefore that force is equal to E into minus E where E is the applied electric field and E is the charge of the electron. On comparing these two equations, minus E into E is equal to M into A or A is equal to minus E E divided by M. A is equal to E divided by M. Yeah. So now substitute this in equation number 1. So substitute this in equation number 1. That is drift velocity Vd is equal to A into tau. We have already derived this equation. So therefore, what is Vd? Vd is equal to, I'm comparing these equations, A is equal to minus E E divided by M. Yeah. Substitute this value of A from this equation in this equation therefore minus E E divided by M into tau. So what is the current density J? J is equal to substitute the value of Vd in equation number 1. J is equal to N into Vd into minus E. So therefore N into substitute the value of Vd from the above equation N into minus E E divided by M into tau into minus E. So that is equal to, so that is the current density is the total number of electrons moving per unit second on the application of the electric field. So the current density mainly depends upon the applied electric field. So when the applied electric field is more, the current produced will also be more. Therefore, J is directly proportional to E or J is equal to sigma E, where sigma is called the coefficient of conductivity, where sigma is called the coefficient of conductivity. Uh, the co uh, sigma is called the coefficient of electrical conductivity and the coefficient of electrical conductivity is defined as the amount of electricity flowing per unit area per unit time when it is maintained in a unit temperature gradient. Unit temperature, uh, sorry, unit 
potential gradient. So, what is the current uh, electrical uh, conductivity coefficient of electrical conductivity? It, it is defined as the amount of electricity flowing per unit area per unit time when it is maintained in an gradient unit gradient potential difference so now comparing equation 7 uh, 6 and 7 comparing comparing equation 6 and 7 so on comparing equation 6 and 7 we get sigma e is equal to n e square e tau divided by m so this is the expression for electrical conductivity of metals expression for thermal conductivity of metals so, so to derive the expression for thermal conductivity of metals let us consider a circular uh, circular rod where a is at odd junction and b is at cold junction at a the temperature is t1 and at the b the temperature is t2 normally heat flows from a body of higher temperature to lower temperature so therefore the heat flows from point a to point b and let 2 lambda be the length of the rod so therefore the amount of heat conducted by the rod from a to b of length 2 lambda is given by q is directly proportional to a into t1 minus t2 into t divided by 2 lambda where q is the amount of heat conducted a is the cross sectional area t1 is the temperature hot uh, hot temperature and t2 is the cold temperature t1 minus t2 is the temperature difference between the two end points t is the time taken for conduction and lambda is the length of the rod or it can be written as q is equal to k a t1 minus t2 into t divided by 2 lambda where k is the coefficient of thermal conductivity so from equation 1 the coefficient of thermal conductivity per unit area is given by k is equal to q divided by t1 minus 2 t2 into 2 lambda put this as equation 2 so now what happens if you hear the electrons vibrate due to thermal velocity so it can vibrate in three possible directions in three possible directions so this electron in this specimen vibrates in all six possible directions all six possible directions so therefore the number of electrons crossing per unit area per unit time at t is given by c is equal to 1 by 6 n into v 1 by 6 n into v so according to the kinetic kinetic theory of gases the average kinetic energy of an electron at hot end a is t1 is equal to 3 by 2 kb t1 Similarly, the average kinetic energy of an electron at cold end, that is at, tem at the point B, where the temperature is T2 is equal to 3 by 2 Kb T2, where Kb is the Boltzmann's constant. Across C is equal to number of electrons into average kinetic energy from A to B. So that is given by 1 by 6 Nv into 3 by 2 Kb T1 or that is equal to 1 by 4 n v k b t1 put this as equation number 4 and similarly the amount of heat energy transferred per unit area per unit time from b to a across c is given by c is equal to 1 by 6 n v 3 by 2 into k b t2 or that can be simplified as 1 by 4 n v into k b t2 put this as equation number so therefore the net amount of energy transferred from A to B per unit area per unit time across C can be obtained by subtracting equation 5 from 4 that is what the net amount uh, the, that is the net energy which is transferred from A to B per unit area per unit time across C can be obtained by subtracting equation 5 from equation 4 so on subtracting we get Q is equal to 1 by 4 n v k b t t 1 minus 1 by 4 n v k b t t 2 or q is equal to 1 by 4 n v k b t into t 1 minus t 2 put this as equation number 6 so substituting equation 6 in equation 2 which we have already derived so the thermal conductivity k is equal to 1 by 4 n v k b t into t 1 minus t 2 into 2 lambda divided by t 1 minus t 2 or this 
T1 minus T2, T1 minus T2 gets cancelled. Therefore, the net kinetic energy K is equal to this 2 and this 2 will get cancelled. And this and this will get cancelled. Therefore, the thermal conductivity K is equal to NVKBT by 2. So, we know that for metals, relaxation time tau is equal to collusion time tau C. So, tau is equal to tau C is equal to lambda by V or tau V is equal to lambda and simplifying tau v is equal to lambda. So, substitute equation 8 in equation 7 and substituting equation 8 in equation 7 k is equal to n v k b t tau v divided by 2 or the thermal conductivity k is equal to n v square k b t divided k b k b tau divided by 2 that is the thermal conductivity k is equal to n v square k b tau divided by so, this is the classical expression for thermal conductivity of metals. This is the classical expression for thermal conductivity of metals.